Hey guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to create bubble text. So if you'd like to see that, continue watching this video. To start off guys, you need to have the media, the video that you'll be using. So here I already have my videos. So now I'm heading to titles and I'm clicking on default title. Next, I'm going to double click on default title and click on advanced. In advanced, I'm clicking on this chat icon here and selecting this image. Then I'm just dragging it and placing it where I need it to be. Now I'm going to change the color of it by going down to shape fill and selecting a color that I want to use. Next, I am going to change the text to what I need it to be. In this case, it's going to be Hey Girl. So to type the text in guys, I click on the text icon that is there. And then I'm just going to type in the text. Now that that's done, I'm going to drag it and position it how I need it to be. And then I'll drag it over and place it in the chat icon. Next, I'm just going to change the font style of it as well as any other little thing I need to change before moving on. After that's done, I'm now going to go ahead and animate it. So I'm selecting the text feature animation style. Next, I'm going to select another text box, guys. And this text box will contain like a response to the comment, hey girl. So here I'm just rearranging the text box how I need them to be. So I'm going to select the text icon. And then I'm going to type in my response. So the first response is, hey. Then I'm going to select another text box. and type in the remainder of the text. Now that that's done, I'm just dragging it over and placing it within the chat icon, as I call it. <laughs> so here I'm just, you know, rearranging the chat icon so that the words actually fit in there. So you may find that you need to do that whilst you're doing yours. Um, now I'm changing the color of the chat box to a color that I want. As usual, to change the color, I head down to shape fill. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and animate each text that I have there. Now guys, down here on the timeline here that is within this advanced section, this is where this is where you look in order to fix 
<clears throat> where you need a text to show up at what point in time you need a text to show up so you just need to click on whichever box is there containing that specific text and then just drag it to your right all right so for example the hey girl i need that to come first so i won't remove i won't drag that any at all because that needs to come first but the hey and where are you those need to come after so what i'll do is to just go on the timeline here and drag each box to the right uh positioning it at a place where the words will pop up off one after each other or the text will pop up one after each other when you're on it guys you should be able to get a better feel of what i'm saying when you're trying it as well so you may find too guys that you will need to rearrange the text box on the timeline as you see me doing here then you click the play button to see what it's looking like and you may need to do that a couple of times until you have your text showing up in the format that you need it to show up in because of course you don't want all the text appearing at once you want it to seem like it's a conversation So here I'm clicking play to, to see uh, what it looks like. So as I said, you may need to do that a few times, you know, whilst you're doing yours to ensure that you get it as good as possible. The timing in between the ticks. Now, once you have everything to your liking, guys, your text showing up at the point in time where you need it to be, then you can click on OK and come out of that section and everything will be there then it's just a matter of adding the sound the text sound to your design so this is me guys just going back in and replaying the video going back to advance and fixing any little areas that I need to fix within the video until I feel that it's coming out the way I want it to be. So you may find that you need to do that guys. Once you're finished and satisfied though, you can just go ahead and export it and you're good to go. Let me know if you found this video useful in the comment section guys. Feel free to ask any questions you may have. Don't forget to subscribe. And until my next video, I'll talk to you then. Goodbye.